Hey everybody, it's Jake Mace, the vegan athlete, and somebody on my Facebook gardening group called Urban Gardening in Arizona with Jake Mace, they just asked me a question about what were the native bushes and plants in my front yard that attract butterflies and other beneficial pollinizing insects. Well, I'll show you. This one, now keep in mind, these are all in their winter state, so they're kind of dormant right now, but they bloom incredible flowers, and they stay pretty healthy year-round with no water from me, only from the rains of the Arizona monsoon and from Mother Earth. Okay, so no additional water from me needed. This is an Indian mallow. It produces these little yellow flowers that are beautiful. The bees and the butterflies love it. Next to the Indian mallow is Arizona milkweed. This is a desert milkweed that the monarch butterfly and the queen butterfly loves. Next to that is the Sonoran desert globe mallow. And the globe mallow comes in different kinds of colors. So like this one right here is the purple variety. There's also orange and white and pink and so on and so on. Next to that is a wolfberry bush. In addition to the wolfberry, pretty much any fruit tree, like this loquat, see these flowers right here? Of my loquat are in bloom and there are bees all over this tree that are loving these open flowers. So any fruit tree is also a beneficial insect and butterfly attractor. Going down the row here, we've got another more mature wolfberry bush, which is next to a baby pink fairy duster. And fairy dusters are beautiful. I get most of these desert native plants from the Desert Botanical Gardens plant sale they have in the spring and the fall. And the red fairy duster is more of a Baja California one, and the pink fairy duster is a native Sonoran Desert Arizona one. Next to that, I have another Arizona milkweed, and then a brittle bush, which blooms these lovely yellow flowers. And the brittle bush really is named that because these guys just snap right off. They're so brittle. And if we go back over here, I'll show you my favorite butterfly attractor and bee attractor. This one right here. It's technically not edible, even though pretty much everything in my yard is either edible, medicinal, or uh, a pollinizer attractor in some way or another. But this was my wife Pam and my first tree together as a couple. We bought it small at the Desert Botanical Gardens plant sale. It was in the Australia section, okay? So Australia and Phoenix can share similar microclimates depending on where you're at, but a lot of deserty trees there work well here. And this one is, uh, a bookshelf leaf eucalyptus. So look at how the leaves look kind of like a bookshelf, like a bunch of books all filed together on a shelf. And if you guys come over here with me, you can see over here all these little brown circles. Pretty much during the monsoon season in the summertime, these bloom flowers everywhere. Look at how many of them there are. They're all over the place. And then they drop off after they bloom and the flowers attract thousands of bees and butterflies from everywhere. They all come to my yard in order to share in the pollen from this incredible tree. This one also grows with no water from me. It just grows off native water. So thanks for joining me. One of the things that I really am passionate about is talking to the insects, okay? And they don't speak English, and they don't speak human, but they speak flowers, okay? So when you guys have an edible landscape, you wanna either throw in your flowering native plants, native trees, native bushes that flower, and this way the bees and the butterflies and all the beneficial pollinized insects will come to you because you'll be speaking their language. Speak the language of the insects, go vegan, grow your food at home, plant native plants that never need to be watered, that attract the beneficial bugs, that will increase the fruit production in your gardens at home. And I'll see you guys back here next time. And check me out on Facebook, the Urban Gardening with Jake Mace Facebook page.